I'm in this room today, it's absolutely boiling in here because the sun's shining on the roof and it's in the attic room so it's probably about 40 degrees in there, it is unbearable. So I'm going to keep this quick and stop waffling. This is the second and final video I'm going to do on Mercury Art rectifiers. Today's video we're going to have a look at a thing called Anexitron. Extremely rare, very old and you're probably never going to see one again. So it's grid controlled, we're going to have a little bit of fun with it, enjoy the video. This is the original container, which is quite nice. This is one of these excitrons, and we're going to power it up today. So basically it's a mercury art rectifier. This little thing dips in the mercury to start things going. Normally there's a solenoid on there, but I can put a magnet on it just to actuate that. This is negative and this is the positive supply. Very low voltage, 30 volts, current limited, and that will just create a small hot spot from that mercury so we get some emission. Once we've got emission and some atoms are flying around in there then we can have the main power flow from this up to the top there. So let's start it up and see what it looks like. So I'm just plugging this in. I've got that there to lift it. Power's on so we've got about 30 volts there probably only a quarter of an amp or so, so there it is, that's the little dot, what will sit there, you can see there's a ring in that mercury, so it gives it somewhere to sit rather than hitting the side, doesn't look like it's doing anything, it's just sitting there. Right, now we can put some main power on it. Are you ready? It's grid bias, so it's on. At the moment, if I put this this one up there, there's a small lamp across there, which is just a few milliamps, won't even come on. So between the grid and the positive bias allows the current to flow from here to there. If I put this top one on the negative, it will block it and it won't allow it, if that makes sense. It's not that complicated, honest. And there it is on. What a wonderful colour that is. Of course this little lamp's not on, because that's just controlling the grid. These things can handle about 11 kilowatt, so a fair old bit of power. They're designed for quite a few thousand volts. Great, isn't it? Not many of them left. Right, I'm going to drop the main current. It just sits there. I'm to go over. I'll give it a little wobble so you can see the mercury. You will notice some condense start to build up in there. That's the mercury vapour which will rise and then it will form droplets and drop back down. Bit more power then, isn't it? What a nice noise that is. <laughs> I've got another magnet here and you'll see that I can influence that dot with this magnet. There it is, I've made it unstable. 
That's fine. Sitting there, whizzing around, don't know what to do. Dead still, isn't it? Upset things a bit, isn't it? Giving it a wobble. Let's give it a strike again. So that's a short circuit. And as we lift it. Starts it up. Power. So this bit's very low power, you can see it's conducting, then as we increase things a bit more, and then even more, and a bit more, and more, and more, until we get stupid levels. <laughs> nope, that will sit there all day like that. Nice. If we don't have that little pilot bit going, that little exciter, so if we turn that off, then we turn the power on, nothing happens. So we have to have that to get things going. So at the moment I've got this grid connected to the top which gives it a positive bias and there's a tiny filament lamp connected to that which then of course will allow current flow. But if I take this off the top and give it a negative bias by putting this down the bottom here, no current flow. So that's quite handy to control that. That's why it's grid controlled. But of course, we want full current flow, don't we? in semi-dark let's give it a bit more as usual heard the old variette crunch up there
that's about it. There you've seen a working mercury arc rectifier known as an excitron. Not quite to Carter D minor, but better than a copyright strike. I think we should play us out with the favourite theme tune you all seem to like, so enjoy, thanks for watching.